and welcome to Game Grin News. Here's what we've been talking about this week. Good news for Nintendo fans. The Wii U is going to get a library boost very soon, with 17 independent titles planned for release in the next two months and 50 more waiting in the wings. You can also grab some other new games for your Wii U this week, including emulated classics Super Mario Kart, Mighty Bomb Jack and Ninja Garden. 3DS users can also enjoy new content in the form of Professor Layton vs Phoenix Wright, Skater Cat and Adventure Island 2. In other news, Bohemia confessed this week that they tried to port popular FPS Armour 2 to the Xbox 360 but just couldn't get it right. They have stated, however, that although current release Armour 3 will remain Steam exclusive, they are looking to go multi-platform with future titles. The biggest story to hit this week has been centred around the Oculus Rift. Launched back in August of 2012, the Oculus Rift started life as a Kickstarter which promised backers the first truly immersive virtual reality headset for video games. It raised an unprecedented $2.4 million, nearly 10 times the campaign's $250,000 goal. The promised prototype has been delivered, but almost immediately the company has been sold to Facebook for an alleged $2 billion. Backers of the project are furious and many have demanded their money back. This has raised the question. Did Oculus VR owe its backers, many of whom paid over $300 or more, anything beyond its initial promise of a prototype? In light of the news, Marcus Pearson, developer of Minecraft, has also announced that he cancelled plans to bring the popular sandbox game over to the Oculus Rift following Facebook's acquisition of the technology, stating that the social media site creeps him out. If you head over to GameGrin, you can read more about that story as it develops. You can also find trailers for loads of new and upcoming games, including the amazing Spider-Man 2 mobile game, Skyforge, Trials Frontier, Smite, Goat Simulator, and Watch Dogs Welcome to Chicago. For bargain hunters, we've also found a few good deals this week. Firstly, Origin users can grab Dead Space for free. That's right, free. Halo Spartan Assault is also due to hit Steam this week for under $5 and the latest Humble Bundle has gone live, containing a selection of indie games. For PlayStation users, PlayStation Plus have also announced their April lineup, which includes Mercenary Kings and Pro Evolution Soccer 2014. Several new previews have been released this week, including Race to Mars, Dead State and The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 2. We also have reviews of Dark Souls 2, Smite, and Tukadun Age of Demons now live. We also have new writer Jenna talking to us this week about the appeal of rhythm games, MZ listing her top 10 sexiest video game characters, Matt moaning about button mashing, and the latest edition of Sofa Sharers, which includes an interview with Finnish developers Housemark. For fans of LAN gaming, you can also find details of the upcoming Game on LAN, which will be held at Utoxa to Racecourse on Friday, April 11th until Sunday, April 13th. That's all for this week. Don't forget to head over to GameGrin.com for the latest news, reviews, previews and more. And whilst you're there, don't forget to enter this week's Capture the Moment competition. Bye for now.